Hey, what up Z Clan and everybody else? How you doing? I hope you're all doing good. Welcome to my uh, Outriders video. This is going to be a review plus some tips and tricks for beginners and I hope I'm not going to get carried away with those tips and tricks. So uh, I've been waiting for a long time to do this review because I first wanted to experience the game, beat the game and you know get as much info as possible before I actually do the review. And uh, here we go. I mean I've got almost two days of gameplay and let's go. Alright, so it's been uh, a few days since the game release, and I must say this game is a masterpiece. I absolutely love this game, it's just it's crazy. Well, there are downsides, I'm going to start with the downsides because there's a, a, only like one. <laughs> uh, the one thing that I really really dislike is that y you got a whole bunch of loading screens. So y if you walk out of this building, right, you got a loading screen. If you go to the next region, you're going to get a loading screen. If you go to the next region, you get a loading screen. So this thing is like the most annoying part of the game, but everything else is just beautiful. Like, I absolutely loved the story, so if you haven't played the game and you haven't done the main campaign, etc., I would highly recommend to stay away from live streams, from Let's Plays, etc. And uh, it's best to experience uh, the game uh, yourself because the storyline is amazing the game combat is crazy as you can see man it's uh, I, I haven't experienced any lags although I'm playing on the Xbox series so I, ha I have that in mind and loading screens are a lot quicker for me oh. right now the difficulty of the game is I love playing like hard games and it is this game is difficult if you don't have the correct build <laughs> Yeah, it's hard to talk when you're in combat, so I just left. <laughs> so yeah, as I was trying to say, the game is very smooth. Uh, the only like big minus is the loading screen, so you'll experience that yourself once you give it a try. And by the way, I would like to give a big shout out to Z-Clan, that's my community, who actually recommended me to try out this game like a few days before the demo. I absolutely loved the demo. I was like, man, why is it so small? And I just couldn't wait for this game to get released. And when it gets released, I'm just super hyped about it. Uh, like I wasn't hyped about this game before it released because I never even knew about it, etc. But when I started playing, this game just blew my mind away. And just I'm gonna I see me myself playing with every single class that there is in this game, which is four, and completing like getting into the details with mods and stuff because there's a whole bunch of mods, there's a whole bunch of skills, a different uh, you can play in different playstyles, be more tanky, do a lot of damage, whichever. Uh, combine different mods once you learn them. I'll, I'll uh, cover that in uh, tips and tricks just in a sec. So yeah, the review for this game, man, if it wasn't for the loading screens, I would give it 10 for 10 out of 10, uh, but it's going to be 9 out of 10. I actually wanted to give 8 out of 10 because at start when the game launched there were server issues like you were not able to log in like the game got released you were hyped about it but you can't play it because the servers are down uh, but they managed to actually to resolve that within like two or three days and now it's two or three days uh, everything is stable well for me in that case so yeah definitely number one thing that I recommend if you haven't played the storyline do not watch do not get spoilers. So when I'm going to be giving you tips and tricks and any other uh, videos I'm going to be making that might well help you out with your journey, I will not do any spoilers in terms of the storyline. Alright, so let's get into uh, tips and tricks. Alright, so the first tip and trick that I would highly recommend if you're planning to play in the main storyline, I would recommend you to do that solo because if, uh, or with friends if you have the ability to communicate them with them at the same time and you know what you guys are doing and just progressing through this storyline. But if you don't have friends that will be playing with you as a team, uh, this is the first tip and trick that I, rec uh, I, mean, I recommend doing. Is game privacy set it to close. So you can do this in the lobby, so if I return back to my lobby I'll be able to do that before I s enter the game. Or you can do that once you're in the game and you can change it right here. Uh, for Xbox it's uh, the left, left stick and for other uh, platforms I don't know but it should it should tell you right there alright so I have it closed because I had a case when I was fighting a, a boss and over a sudden some level 2 guy <laughs> joins in and uh, 
the boss becomes twice as hard and he just eliminates me because this game is already as hard as it is as long as you progress uh, before we get into leveling and how the diffi how difficult the game is there's another quick quick tip and tip that I would 100% recommend first of all is loot everything loot everything everything you see get it uh, you will need it for crafting etc so then you will need to go to your settings and go to uh, auto loot uh, minimum variety and set it to common by default I think it's gonna be like epic or something uh, oh rare I don't know yeah rare set it to uh, common and it will help you to loot everything even if you leave for example the uh, the region it will automatically loot that stuff that you've missed right uh, but if you've killed the guys right all over the map uh, on Xbox you can click the uh, the cross of guy house called sorry I'm from Ukraine sometimes I mispronounce stuff plus I'm new to Xbox so this cross here you click downwards and you loot everything uh, on the map in the region and with you're playing with friends if you do the same thing it will actually loot for them as well so you will not miss anything so auto loot do it and make sure that your game is set to privacy closed if you're doing the main mission uh, and you don't want any interruptions these are the two like top top tips and tricks alright so why do I recommend uh, looting everything well first of all you can dismantle these things right um, and you will get to learn the mods so if you navigate to your weapon you can see that you got essence of uh, thief then you got the bleeding bullets so they're all different right by the way uh, you can also change that and I'll show you just in a sec uh, so they all have different variety of mods sometimes they even have two that's from the purple one and above which is the legendary version and they get even powerful and powerful and powerful you can do a whole bunch of different combinations I'll show you how many mods are there and you can just picture yourself how many crazy builds you can do in this game it's uh, it's crazy I see myself putting into this game hundreds of hours <laughs> definitely because I am super excited about this game alright so uh, the way you learn the mods is dismantling, right? So you can uh, A, uh, do it like this, so you kind of click what you want to dismantle, right? Or uh, you can go to these boxes right here, right? And we'll have the poor one. I don't have any of these, but I have the blue ones. So I select it and I dismantle. So once I dismantle, I will get to uh, learn the mods if I didn't know them. Now, how do you identify if you know a mod for a specific uh, weapon or armor or whatever right it's pretty simple so if you navigate over here uh, you can see armor boost and head of the ward right and all the way to the right you see this square with a kind of like a cross in it makes it look like it's got four squares right that that is uh, an icon that let informs me that I already have uh, that those mods right so if I for example navigate over here and I can see uh, the tainted blood it doesn't have the square meaning I haven't uh, I don't have that mod learned yet so if I dismantle this I will have that mod and I'll be able to apply it to whatever armor I want and whatever uh, like rarity it is so that's cool same goes for weapons with mods so weapons and armor they have different set of mods and uh, let me go and show you the mods so once you progress through uh, the storyline you will get to m uh, meet Dr. Uh, Zahidi right and he is the guy who will allow you to uh, upgrade your gear and stuff like that so once you navigate over here for example if I want to upgrade my helmet right uh, by the way over here there is another thing that you should know you can only change one of the mods so if you get for example let's take a real life example ah, something with two mods here here we go so we got this gun right uh, let's say for example you like the death chains right because it gives a lot of damage but you dislike the sh uh, shield right so you will go to um, change the mods you got tier one which comes from the blues and other stuff and uh, epic this one as well so once you dismantle you get to learn them right so you can see a whole bunch of mods and you got tier two right a whole bunch of mods and tier three uh, these ones I've only encountered through the legendary weapons so you will need to dismantle legendary uh, weapons in order to get access to these beautiful freaking insane mods <laughs> like this one this is one of my favorite it launches like an explosion with the first bullet it does insane amount of damage it's crazy 
and you get to play around with it, right? So then uh, you can select which lot you would like to replace. So if you can see over here, place in slot one, right? So I'll be able to put that in slot one if I click A, and then I'll need uh, iron or steel or whatever it's called, right? I mean, let's navigate over here, iron, to change it, right? For uh, armor, you will need leather. These are very easy to come by, and plus you're gonna be dismantling a lot. You'll have all those resources. It's pretty cool. Uh, by the way, by the way, another reason why I recommend to dismantle everything, uh, don't sell, is because you get shards, and shards you will need to upgrade uh, these attributes points over here. So it's a lot of them. So I, I think I'm gonna cover that in a separate video because it's just this this topic is freaking huge. The only thing that I want, I want to point out here is that if you mod the first slot, right? But then you're like, oh man, you know, actually the first was good and the second one I should have done it. You will not be able to redo it. So be very careful which mod you change because as soon as you do the change, you will not be able to change it. You will only be able to change uh, the first mod. So this one right here, you can only replace that. You don't have an option to put it or uh, change th the slot to. I hope I got that covered. So what I was trying to say, this game has a lot of freaking mods for weapons, armor, is crazy, right? And the amount of time you can put into making builds, different types of builds, I'm actually working on something absolutely crazy and I'll release the video uh, once it's done. So as you can see there's a whole bunch of mods here you, you can learn and let's go. Alright, so the next thing that I want to touch is the leveling. The leveling, uh, if you look on the very top, you can see World Tier 15, right? Uh, that's because I already got to the maximum and I'm maximum level, which is uh, 30. So if you hit level 30, uh, you're on a max level. Uh, now, the World Tiers, how they work is that they increase the level, the drop rate of the item, the loot rarity modifier, and the legendary. So basically, the higher you go, the better loot, the stronger the enemies, the the better the item you get, but, but it's very hard actually. If you, for example, level up as your level and level up in the world tier, your uh, armor and weapons are going to be really downgraded badly and you're just going to take a whooping and <laughs> they're going to beat you up. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, but I would not recommend dropping the world tiers just uh, for maybe for a second to get to renew your uh, gear to the current level that you are and proceed with the storyline. So that's where we go to questing. So once you're doing your quests, what I strongly, strongly recommend is doing everything. So if you do the main story line and it tells you you got to go to the next region, make sure that you've completed all the side quests because there are some side quests that give uh, legendary as a reward. So definitely that is something you want to do. Uh, besides, if you uh, do the game also gives you some more side quests, uh, which are called the Historian, uh, the Bounty Hunter, or something like that, and the Hunter. So uh, I need to use this map first. You'll need to use your truck to uh, travel. So we've got here the Hunter, right? This you need to go to all of these locations and hunt these, but you will not see it at the very uh, start until you progress with the storyline. Then the same thing goes for the wanted, and once you eliminate those, you'll get loot. And uh, the historian as well, so you'll see the books, the book, all right? All right, so once you're gonna get started, what I highly recommend is doing them, but do not submit them. Do not submit them, and there is a big reason why. Uh, first of all, maybe it was I was unlucky, but I tried a lot because I've seen a video, like, I actually wanted to uh, get them all together and then submit them uh, once I hit the, t uh, the top level and the top tier. But when I hit the top level and the top tier, I didn't beat the campaign. And once I submitted everything, I didn't get any legendary gear. That's where I was trying to get it. So if you beat the game and you do this, you will get you can farm legendary gear this way, right? Uh, so I submitted like eight out of ten when I got was top tier. I thought maybe uh, you know top level top was gonna give me legendaries but no it didn't when I beat the game I did the other two I submitted and I got a legendary f for each so I got a legendary armor I got a legendary weapon from the historian I got a legendary weapon from the bounty hunter I mean the wanted so by the way so uh, for a fact I know that the hunter gives armor the wanted gives legendary weapons 
and the historian for now I know it gives legendary weapons but once again point out submit them once you've completed the main story so the main story you will complete it you, you will know when you complete it you get the credits and then you will unlock uh, the end game uh, content which is expeditions uh, really cool <laughs> really cool stuff and yeah then then the next thing you gotta do is grind for the legendary loot which I'm doing actually right now now the other most important question is oh wait uh, by the way a lot of people have been asking how do you reset these uh, you actually reset the once you've done all ten of them right and you submit it you, there is an option when you talk to the guy when you finish talking and you submitted the reward to reset it and you can do it again and again and again and again okay so we got that covered all right all right so that is actually pretty much everything I wanted to mention uh, I'm still working on the game still uh, thinking and plus I'm gonna be replaying with other characters so if I'll figure out some other tips and tricks for beginners I'll uh, do a totally separate video on that I'll touch different uh, parts of this game as well on separate videos because there's really a lot of t to talk about in this game it's just uh, it, at first I thought man this game is kinda small but when it beat the game ending it's like okay I'm going, I'll see where this is going. A couple of good <laughs> hundred of hours with one guy just to make a perfect build and uh, play around with the thing. Alright, so uh, that's uh, pretty much it. Uh, thanks all for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Oh yeah, by the way, if you're on Xbox, this game is on Game Pass, so you can play it for free if you have the Game Pass. That's another big, big bonus. Because <laughs> I was actually able, oh, was about to pre-order this game. And, uh, on the day when I got myself the gift card, uh, I saw... Uh, in our on our Discord, I saw the post. Uh, this game is coming. Uh, game Pass on day one. I'm like, okay, <laughs> save some money. <laughs> but anyway, uh, thanks all for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and found it beneficial. If you did, don't forget to hit that like. It really helps uh, for other users to identify if this uh, viewers if this video is any good. And of course, if you didn't like it, just thumbs down. I'm pretty sure if you didn't like it, you wouldn't be watching it up to this point, would you? But anyway, thanks all for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. You all have a good morning, day, and night, whatever you guys lock it at. And I'll see you on the next video. And by the way, if you subscribe, welcome to Z Clan. I'm Gamer Z Soul from Ukraine. So I have from Ukraine. Catch you later. Bye. From the ashes we rose into the future we'll go.